Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am here with Mr. Tim Swain. Hey Tim. What's up? It's been a while. Last, last, last time I saw you, we was out developing some content and you know, uh, yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, I thought it'd be a great time to get you back on my channel because I interviewed you, I think it's been about two years ago now. I remember we've done some vlogging stuff together, no, but my first interview with you was about I remember that. That was at your place. Yes, it was. Wow. It was. Wow, that was a long time ago. I know. Do you know why I wanted to interview you? What's that? Because many people come to Ghana and they don't quite make it to the two-year mark. They mm. kind of fall off for various different reasons and they mm -hmm. haven't quite made it. But you're still here and you're still doing yeah. quite a lot. Like you've really planted yourself in the community. And I noticed recently that you have something that you're doing right now, which I thought was interesting. You're doing some type of fundraising run. Yeah. Is, that, is that the right way? Is that the right term? I mean, yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's called Black Star 400. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, Black Star obviously represents the Black Star of Ghana. The Black represents the people. 400 mm -hmm. represents the distance. You know, Americans like to do their own thing. So it's in miles. But okay. kilometers wise, I think it's about 650. But essentially, it's a run, walk fundraiser mm -hmm. that covers 400 miles starting at Northern Ghana, Salaga Slave Market. And we come all the way down and we end at Elmina Slave Castle in uh, Cape Coast. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what made you decide to do something like that? Yeah, I think living in Ghana, as you said, for so long, mm -hmm. I think after you quote unquote make it yeah. and you, let's say you have a house that you want to live in, mm. you have friends or whatever, mm. then you realize, okay, well, what else am I going to do to make an impact? I mean, you've been here a while. We see that. You know, poverty is everywhere in Ghana. Yeah. The need is everywhere in Ghana. So I just wanted to do two things. Number one, I wanted to take my love for like running and 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 match it with something that can really help somebody. Mm. So I said, what if I could take my love for running and then I can do something that can help a lot of people across Ghana? Yeah. And uh, that, that's how the idea. So in first. total, how many years have you been in Ghana now? Hey, so hey. the fourth. <laughs> Of December uh -huh. is when we arrived on one-way tickets. So that would be, the 4th of December would be five years. Really? Yeah, five years. I remember when you came, you had hair. You didn't have to, you didn't have to, you have to say all that. You see, you see what God has done to me? <laughs> Listen, I had hair and all this was black. <laughs> the stress, the wahala. All, all of this is Ghana wahala. But it has chewed you to get to hey, the point. Hey, I mean, I don't want to be chewed. I don't want to be chewed anymore. I've been chewed. I don't want to be chewed anymore. But you've made it though. Yeah, you've made yeah. It, you know, now yeah. you want to really plant some roots here and do some good things yeah. for the community and the people. So I feel like what you're doing is amazing because you're using your gifts and your talents in some way to impact the community and give something back. Yeah. So like, how did you come up with this and from why, why that point to that point specifically? Yeah, that's actually a really great question. You know, also the number 400 doesn't just commemorate the distance, but it also commemorates around the same time in history, mm -hmm. specifically talking about the transatlantic. You know, in 2019, uh, Ghana had this whole year of return yeah. and it was really highlighting the 400 years since, um, you know, um, the, the enslavement of Africans started. And so although we're some years past that in terms of 400, mm. um, um, historically, you had Africans who were being sold. They would be at Salaga Slave Market, which was one of the largest during the transatlantic, right? Mm. In, in, in this Western Africa um, geography. They would walk way before the N1 and N5 and all these major roads we have in Ghana. Mm. They would walk from that place, that distance all the way down to, um, El, you know, to Elmina, to the yeah. door of no return yeah. that I'm sure a lot of folks have heard about. Mm. And so this is the time where you had wild animals, you had disease, you had a lot of famine, you know, so folks were dying along the way. So really it was about, I want to do something, like I want to be able to honor those people because uh, there was a lot of people in the story that that did fight back, that were resistant, mm. um, that maybe they never got a chance to tell the story. And then I think the major thing is they walk through the door of no return. But so many of us, right, have returned mm. and we haven't just returned to sip coconut water and be on the beach. Mm. A lot of us have returned because we want to make an impact. So it's historical, mm. but it's also inspirational. Mm. Do you feel like your reasoning for want to specifically do this is because of the history that you have with America? Um, I think because I am a product of 
these two societies, you know, Africa, Ghana specifically, has trans. You're not Ghanaian for those that make. Yes, you know, no. So I was, I wasn't. I don't have any family lineage in Ghana. I've never done a DNA test. Maybe I should, but mm -hmm. even if I did, <laughs> what would I do with it? Yeah. <laughs> You're Ghanaian, so what? Change anything? I was still Bruni, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, like, no. I'm, I was born and raised in America, mm -hmm. and I think my exposure, right, to, to like. This that society and then coming here to Ghana, mm. the exposure to this society. And then as I travel around the the African diaspora and even places here within Africa, I see that there's so much rich history. Mm. Most of our story in America about ourselves, it starts in 1619, which is when some of those shape, slave ships came yeah. to the southern part of the states. So the story begins in oppression. But the reality is like, you know, you and I know we see so much creativity all over the continent and it's like, where is that story? Mm -hmm. So it, it's not a walk for like slaves, right? Yeah. It's showing that there's a piece of history and that gives us strength as we look back. Right. But the empowerment for the youth is the reality that as we look forward, there's a brighter future mm. that we can be a part of. Right. I think that I really like what you just said, because I feel like, although, yes, we're talking about slavery and, and uh, people were, went to the slave, the slave castle and through the door of no return and <coughs> all that. Like you said, people did fight. Yeah. So I feel like it's important to also celebrate the fact that we weren't just taken, we fought. Yeah. You know, and so I think that's an important part of the history as well well. So I yeah. like the fact that you've also mentioned that. And, we, and we'll be telling some of those stories. So once we finish, right, the actual walk, um, it's yeah, a walk or a run. Sorry, it's a walk run because I don't want to kill myself. Or walk. <laughs> no, so it's, it's some parts to be running, some parts to be walking. Mm. Um, and we'll be telling stories, right? Those stories that I just told you. So we, we've already been there a few times, had some conversations with the local um, the local um, uh, chiefs to talk about some of these rich histories. Mm. Um, you know, that, that we don't get to hear about. Yeah. So those things will be documented. Mm. Um, and then we'll be producing a mini documentary that not only tells the story of the journey, but tells the story of the history that's connected to the journey as well. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So it's actually educational as you're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So can anybody sign up to do this or can you donate? How, how's it working? Yeah, so that's a great question. Yeah, so that's a great question. In terms of involvement, uh, the main thing is and, and participation. It's, it's a one man journey for now, yeah. just because it's easier logistics wise. To it's the first time we've done this. Mm. You know, imagine three hundred people out there and two hundred get sick or something. Right. Everybody's like, Tim, we hate you. Yeah, right? yeah. We don't we don't want that to happen. Uh -huh. So um, so it's it's a one man journey. In terms of participation, there's two main ways people could be involved. Number one, we need people's financial support. Absolutely. People like to pray for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need you to Prayers pay for great. me. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to pay. Yes, yes, um, yes. So all that information, I know you got it down there in the description below. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing is people can just spread the message. Mm -hmm. Like when you see this video, when you go to my IG, when you go to Black Stars IG, take this information and just send it to as many people as you can. Hey, did you see good things are happening in Ghana? Yeah. Hey, did you hear about this Texan that's running in Ghana? Hey, mm -hmm. did you hear about this Black American? I don't care whatever you call me. This guy is doing this. Runner. That's that's fine. That's fine. As long as we get the exposure, I'm fine. Yeah. Because for <laughs> me, the big goal is I really look ahead to when we're in those classrooms and we're empowering youth mm. with the knowledge to not only create opportunities for themselves in entrepreneurship, but you're really shaping the next generation of leaders that may be the architects that build buildings, that may be your videographers, yeah. that may be your person who designs tennis shoes mm. we don't know mm. but i'm i look forward to that moment so i don't care what you call me just spread the word <laughs> so we can get to that moment mm, i love it okay so what do you want to do with the funds when you receive them specifically yeah so funds will be um funds will be allocated towards three different initiatives uh -huh. uh, one is water wells that we're building in ghana uh, number two is we're bringing a group of young African-Americans from the States to to Ghana for a leadership program that we do already with my NGO. And so we're just bringing a younger group of students. And the third thing, which is I think is one of the most impactful, is what I was talking to you about. We're starting this innovation hub where we're already working in uh, the central region with youth. We're expanding to Accra where we're basically going to have an innovation hub where we're teaching kids entrepreneurship, character education and project management. And our goal is 200 lives impacted over the next two and a half years. Wow. All the projects will start in 2025. So it's not happening in 2024. Mm -hmm. Everything is starting in 2025 because you got to plan properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what age is it from? 
Yeah, so the age we're looking at right now is the junior high school age. So that's normally like around like 13 to like, until you get to like early high school, yeah. like uh, like 18. Oh. So junior high school to high school. Yeah. So you've actually been doing stuff in the community already. So this is not even your first no. initiative. No, so we, we, especially with the leadership programs, we've been doing this for a long time in terms of my NGO, mm. working with youth um, by partnering with other NGOs to empower them with knowledge and information. We've been doing that for a number of years. Um, the new thing that we're adding is just um, kind of like these benevolence projects with the water. That's something new we're doing, but uh, we're working on some partnerships right now um, in Ghana to help facilitate that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's just really just leveling up on what we have done yeah, uh, so that we can increase our impact. Okay. So you're looking for donations, sponsorships, that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, if somebody watching this is a sponsor of... Uh, Listen, want to sponsor in any kind of way. This is what we need. We need the money. We also need materials for our journey. Yeah. Um, if you want to sponsor some of the logistics, for example, you know, how do you get from Salaga to Elmina? One of the things we're doing is we have partnered with uh, an amazing organization um, that is going to be allowing us to use like an RV type of uh, van where it will follow us. We can sleep in it. We can charge stuff in it. But, you know, listen, if you're going to do it well, it costs money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So we'll put all that in, in your description. So, mm. And there may be somebody watching that has been praying about. I got a, I, I, listen, I got a lot of resources. It's the end of the year and mm -hmm. I just want to bless somebody. Yes. And my heart has been led towards Ghana. Mm -hmm. You are the one I'm looking That's for. That's the one. You're the one. Yeah. $5,000. There you go. Is that all? This, that's, that, that's just one person. Okay, that's just one that's person. That's somebody else that's watching. Mm -hmm. 10,000. There, there you go. No, no here's the, the truth is, I don't know who's watching this, and I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. where they are in their lives. Absolutely. But everything also, we're a 501c3 organization with the United States government, according to the IRS. You know, all tax laws are applicable for your mm -hmm. donation. So... You know, that's a benefit as well, especially a lot of you folks watching and you got to get those donations in. If you're in the States, you got to get those donations in by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. You definitely, definitely, definitely uh, yeah. should give source something like this. Mm. So how long do you think the, the journey will take to do? That is a great question. Right now, uh, based on my training mm -hmm. and what I know of my and body. How, how fit you are, basically. Yes. Um, <laughs> we're looking at doing a covering a distance of about 35 to 40 miles a day, which is around 600 to about 600. I'm oh, sorry. It's about 60 to like 65 kilometers a day. So it's going to take a period of about, let me say, about 12 or 13 days. God willing, everything goes 12 well. 12 or 13 days. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not just going to be a straight, you know, like 24 hour or whatever, because yeah. you got to eat, recover. Right, and it's yeah. a long distance. Yeah, so it's going to take about 12 or, uh, 12 or 13 days. So what if you have days where, like, you just can't get, like, you're really tired? Would you take the day off? So rest days are embedded within that 12 or 13 days. Right. Right, so there's a few days where you're going hard. There's rest and recovery. Rest yeah. and recovery is embedded in every single day. Yeah. But then there's a few days of going hard. There's a rest day. There's a few more days. There's rest day. And I think towards the end of the journey, depending on how my body is feeling, you know, listen, I may just want to do 50 miles in a day or something. It just depends. Wow. Uh, but I've been training for really about 30, um, between 30 and 40 miles, about, you know, mm. up to about 65 kilometers a day. Yeah. And how long have you been training for this? Oh, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been running for a long time. Like yeah. I've run a I've lot seen. of races and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But for this endeavor specifically, yeah. I started, um, I started the initial phase of training, like it was months ago, but mm -hmm. so my training is progressive. So right. it started off with maybe just like, you know, 10 miles a week. Um, and then now it's progressing up to, like I said, like that 30, 40 miles. And, and uh, I hate it. I hate it, but I, it's, a, it's a good hate. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm yeah. exhausted, but uh, it's so all do good. you have like, hype people to help you keep going when you're feeling like a bit tired. How are you going to... I'm calling you. I'm going to call you. Yeah, call me. I'll be at home. I'll be like, go Tim. Listen. This is great. Well, listen, this is amazing. Well, when, I, when I need some motivation, I'm going to call you. Yeah. And then we're going we're gonna to put it on IG Live and I'm like, yeah. listen, Della, I need some motivation. Yeah. I'm yeah. at a mile 150. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go anymore. Yeah. I need some, I need some motivation. Yeah. More to Della, more to motivation. <laughs> oh, I'll definitely give you some motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is amazing. What, what dates are you doing the run? So we'll launch on either the 15th or 16th of December. So it scares me to say that soon it's, it's very soon. We've been planning since mm -hmm. December of last year mm -hmm. and uh, we're about to start. Um, I'm really terrified 
Um, but it's a good terrifying, you know, like it, yeah. they say that if, if your dreams don't scare you, mm -hmm. then you're probably dreaming too small. Right. This scares the living daylight out of me. Are you worried that you might not make it to the end? I've, I've, I've rehearsed every single scenario. I'm one of those people that will rehearse every single scenario in his mind. Mm. And I'm also one of those people that knows that I have to block out everything. And it's not an if. Yeah. If I don't, if I can't run, I'm going to walk. If I can't walk, I'm going to crawl. If I can't crawl, I'm going to roll. But no matter what happens... I'm gonna do it. It's from start to finish. It will happen. Wow. That's really amazing. Yeah. yeah. But in all seriousness, like this is an amazing initiative that you're doing, and it's one that's definitely needed, especially when it comes to like the education of the youth and things like that. I think that it will have a great impact. And so I know that this is gonna be the, the first of many. Let me do it again. Uh, let's just focus on the first one for right now. <laughs> Once we finish with the first one, uh, then we could talk about yeah. what happens after that. And yeah. maybe you could open it out to more people who would yeah. like to join as well once it becomes a thing, you know? I, I think that would be incredible, especially if we can even, like, you know, get to this one and see, work through all the logistics of, like, yeah. what went well, what didn't go so well, and then be able to even, like, do, like, smaller, maybe smaller distances yeah, yeah. Um, to start off with um, mm. and micro-launch them. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. We may go do, let's, listen, have a 50 people go climb up of Mount Kilimanjaro mm -hmm. in 2025. Okay, okay. You'll be one of them. <laughs> you, you, you can do it if you want to. Huh? Like how many years would I have to train for? No, months. <laughs> what am I climbed up Kilimanjaro? No, and go what am I? So we need we, we just gonna... more to Della. Huh? More to mountains. More to mountains. Listen, this is this is I'm, this is branding. Right? More to Della. More to mountains. More to motivation. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm all for the mot motivation though. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely down with that part. But yeah. the, the mountain, I mean, hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what God can do. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, how do people donate? Tell me. Now, I'll put everything in the description box, but you can just yeah. So, uh, we have our social social uh, Black Star. Everything is Black Star four hundred. Okay. So, even if you just go to Google and Google Black Star four hundred, we'll come up. That'll lead you to our website. Mm -hmm. um, you could donate straight to our website to our secure platform. Um, and yeah, everything is there. Okay, you have an Instagram page too? We have an Instagram page, yeah, we do. Everything is Black Star 400. So Black okay. Star and then 400. If you go to IG, type that in, um, you'll see our logo or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, it'll pop up. If you can't find that, you can just find me. I'll lead you there um, based on the socials. Okay, awesome. So you're going to do some lives on the day, some Instagram lives and things like that? Yeah, we're already producing content of like behind the scenes, what's happening. And mm -hmm. then during the time, we'll have a, we'll have a film crew there. So we'll have somebody documenting the entire time. We'll be doing lives and stuff. We're working out the logistics of what that looks like. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to have live updates because sometimes people want to know that they heard about it. All right. But then when it's happening, then yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. it's happening. Yeah. yeah. And then that, we want to we want, uh, want to give people that opportunity mm. to, to, to see, right, yeah. what they've been investing in through prayer, through finances and through their uh, yeah. support. That's pretty awesome. I love it. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. I can't wait to watch you. I'm yeah. watching from afar, but yeah. I'm watching for sure. Yeah. 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 So thank you for coming on and telling us all about this amazing thing that you're doing. I really actually do think it's a great thing. So I'm yeah. really looking forward to learning some more. And I'm going to follow you because I want to, even though you yeah. don't follow me. No, you please. I beg. I beg. To my <laughs> <channel. gasps> <coughs> I will follow you. Um, on this Wait, I think I'm way. actually subscribed. No, you Wait, didn't. am I? No, last time you told me you were. Maybe I remember. Okay, anyway, thanks for following me. And thank you for being, thank you for your time today. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Okay, okay. So where can people find you on your main channel too, right? Tim well, Swain. Everything is Tim Swain. T-I-M-S-W-A-I-N. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you got it, guys. So... Go ahead, follow Tim on all his socials. Keep up to date with what's going on. It's going to be amazing. I'm absolutely sure of it. If you can donate, it would be lovely for you to donate. So even if you're not in Ghana and you can't physically do something yourself, this is a great way for you to be able to have an impact, you know? Yeah. Reach out and, you know, help in any way that you can. Sponsors, donations, whatever. All help is help. Even prayers are help, but money yeah. too. We yeah. like money too. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button subscribe. and the notification bell. Don't forget to also like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, we are out. Let's do it. Come on now. What do you do? We do. We are out. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just do the new bye bye. Ready? Okay, yes. Okay, so. Let's see, Papa. There you go. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me fear. You're whipping me.
papá es 